Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome back to another haunted adventure and today's haunted adventure takes place at Post Town Elementary, the most haunted school in Ohio. So this is actually the end of the video now. We have spent all night here. We have uh, experienced some crazy things in there. So as some of you know, me and Fear Fanatics has been talking for a while now planning this. We were so pumped up. He was going to have four contestants. I was going to have four contestants. We got the interview. We was getting ready to go rolling. One guy got sick right off the bat, Todd. He went up into just checking out the second story and he got hit with the, he just started pouring sweat. He got hot, he was laying down on his bed. He still don't know really what happened. He is feeling better now, but yeah, that took him out for hours, like right off the bat. And then right after that, four more contestants dropped out, leaving us with only three at the end. So we really couldn't do the challenge video that we originally set out to do. But we did put something else together for you guys. We still sent three of them out on a mission and you, you'll get to see that. It was crazy, they were scared. And afterwards, we all split up into little groups to see what we could capture on camera in the school that had already taken out five people. Make sure you go check out Doug and Fear Fanatics. The link will be down in the description. And if you like crazy adventures, spooky haunted things, and abandoned exploration, then smash that like, hit that subscribe, join the family, and let's get it. Can you slam the door for us again? Can you move the door? elementary school. I've been here in the school for 20 years. I actually started here in school in 1963 and it's been a experience. Didn't believe in any of the ghost stuff in the beginning and I've been proven that they do exist. I feel like something's right behind you all the time and you Turn around and look, and there's never nothing there. I think all of the people that accepted this single challenges tonight, they're all going to experience something. I don't think it matters what room you put them in. I think the creep factor is going to be a little higher in some rooms than it is others. But overall, I think everybody's going to experience something. When you leave, you believe. My name's Jenna. I'm 22, and I'm from Medford, Kentucky. I get very uh, scared very easily so I honestly think it's going to be really quick and done <laughs> for my alone challenge yeah I don't think I'll be able to complete it just because I've had a little bit of an experience it was more of a sleep paralysis sort of thing but I definitely felt like something was there with me when I looked at my TV there was a figure sitting at the end of my bed and then it started coming towards me and I tried to kick it dash that way towards the door. I'm Andrew, I am from Batavia, Ohio and I'm 29 years old. Do I believe in ghosts? Mm, I'm a skeptic. I'm a skeptic. I have not had any experiences with any anything paranormal. It might come to bite me but I'm not nervous at all. I'm excited. Let's see some proof. My name is Jaren. I'm 22. I'm from Amelia, Ohio. I believe in ghosts. I, I really think that I will complete my challenge and win. I'm really gonna make it. Hi, I'm Pam. I'm 50 years old. What else am I... <laughs> Hi, I'm Pam. I'm 29 years old. Hi, I'm Pam. I'm 50 years old and I'm from Wilder, Kentucky. Um, when growing up, my house, I believe we had poltergeists. My radio would come on at 3 o'clock in the morning all by itself. And uh, once I got rid of it, because I thought it was an electronical issue, the TV started coming on at 3 o'clock in the morning by itself. 
um, and we had uh, mirrors would fall off the walls in the basement and up until here a couple years ago I was in the dry goods room and I was alone and I felt someone touch my shoulder. I work at a hotel, I see apparitions all the time and um, dogs are scared to go into certain rooms where people have died. So yes, I believe. Caleb, I'm 37, I'm from uh, Northern Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, I'd say I believe in ghosts. I feel like I've experienced uh, incidents, you know, that uh, I would say it's either ghosts or, you know, uh, demonic activity, you know, I'm, but I believe there's something out there. On the challenge, I think I'll, I'll do okay. Um, I'm not so much scared. Uh, when the lights go out, that kind of plays, plays tricks on you. But I, I think I'll be all right. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, when we were going on the tour, I opened a closet door, and I mean, it could just been gravity, but the, a broom, you know, it scared the hell out of me. You know, I pulled the door, and the way it fell this way, rather than that way. So, I mean, it was kind of odd, but um, I've heard stories about this place from a train wreck to a little girl falling down steps. Through over the years, I haven't, I'm not really scared anymore of the afterlife, you know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. So from the from where you're standing at the podium, try to communicate with the guy who uh, died and was in that co uh, coffin for three days, and see if you can do uh, see if you can communicate with him, see if you can get any reaction from him. You copy that? Hello. Is there anybody that can hear me? Don't be shy. I'm friendly. Can anybody hear me? Nothing so far. Gotcha. Hello, can anybody hear me? I'm trying to contact you right now. Spirit, I am asking to contact with you if you can hear me. I am a benevolent soul. Can you hear me? Please show yourself if you can hear me. I am a benevolent soul. Yes. All right, leave the casket room and make a left. Turn left on the casket room and then turn right, go towards the main staircase. And then make your way up the stairs. You'll have to open the gate and then close the gate behind you before you proceed up the steps. I'm back where the green light is. You're at the green light? I think I took the wrong way. You go down the hallway and make a right, and then go all the way down that other hallway down to the main teacher's room. So I'm heading towards the exit sign, correct?
Copy. I'm in front of the green light. Okay. Are you in front of the green light? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, go straight ahead until you uh, come to... Go straight ahead and then make a right and then you'll see a little set of steps. Go, to, go down most steps. Heard. I think I just heard something. One second. Okay, I just passed the red light. Definitely heard something. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> nah, fuck you guys. Shit. Not cool. I'm at the mean teacher's desk. Okay. If something comes near you, it'll uh, it'll 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 light up and make a noise. Heard. Over. Over. Hello, is anybody here? Anybody want to come say hi? Try to communicate. Over. I'm gonna try my best. Well, let's find out. Take off running. Go out of here and make a left. You got it. Or do you? Go down the hallway to make a right and then make a left and go to the casket room. I'm looking for the owner of this casket. I know that you've spent three days, three days in here, so that's the story, and I, I want to let you know that I'm um, sympathetic, sympathetic to whatever happened to you. Can you make a sign that you're in this room? Yeah, there's, I've tried communicating. There's nothing in here. Okay, leave the cast room and make a left. And then make your way over to the main stairwell. And then open the gate that leads upstairs and then go up the steps. Okay. Okay, I see a stairwell to the right. I see the gate. I'm opening the gate.
reaching the top of the bed. This is ridiculous. It's green. Yeah, and then make a left. I'm getting back down here. Go down some steps to your right, and then you'll see another long hallway. Go all the way to the end of that hallway to the main teacher's room. I'm in the room, over. Bro, there's like a device going off in here. Well, yeah, it's going off. Can you try to communicate with <laughs> You son of a bitch. Uh, uh, yeah, let me go in the corner here. I don't like the thought of anything popping up behind me. I'm trying to, t it's going off, it's going off again. Is it still going off for you? Yes. Where? I'm looking for the mean teacher. Are you still in the room, Caleb? I'm still in the room. You're still in the room, Robert? Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Show me something. I'm getting out of the room. Look at that. You can make your way back. What the fuck? That fucking dog got me. I did not see that before. Get out of here. I'm almost home free now. Got a little courage. What was down there? That's wicked. Alright. Fucking gate. Uh, home free, boys. Shit, my fucking strap just came off. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. God, dude, my strap popped off. I ran up here. My strap just popped off. Hey, so what happened with that REM pod? What's that? The, the electric device? Yeah. Man, as soon as I walked in the room, it started going off. Seriously? Went off like five times, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Before you even had a chance yeah. to ask anything, huh? I went down, tried catching on. Look, I still got a little bit of goosebumps. Yeah.
spirits. And then try to communicate with the spirit of the man that used to own that casket. Do we know his name? I don't know his name. Maybe you can find that out. All right. And uh, keep your walkie-talkie push while you're trying to communicate so we can hear what's going on. Over. All right, over. Can you hear me? Over. Here you over. I'm entering the casket room. Over. Hello? Can you communicate with me? If there are any spirits in this room, please make yourself known. What was your name? What did you die of? Can you communicate with me? Okay, out of the casket room, I'm going to make a left. And go to the main staircase that goes upstairs, and then make your way all the way to the top. When you get to the top, there'll be a green light, and then let me know when you're there, over. Steps now over. Get to the top of the steps, make a left, and go all the way down the hallway. I'm going all the way down the hallway here, over. All the way to the end of the hallway. And you'll see a sign outside the door to say, Mean Teacher's Room, go into that room, and you'll, and you'll see a chair. Sit at the desk. I'm starting to not like this, over. Little bit, yes. Over. It's over. Found the freaking dog. Should I be hearing a noise? Over. Not a noise. Over. It stopped now, but it was like a electronic type noise. Over. Okay, I'm entering the mean teacher's room now. Over. I hear it again. Oh, it's... I'm supposed to sit at the desk. Over. Around the REM pod, and personally me, I've never had to go up when I was around. 
So that's pretty cool that's going off. You can maybe try to communicate with the spirit in that room. Are there any spirits in the room? Speak to me. Make yourself known, over. Why is it changing different colors? Does that mean something, over? You're not touching it, are you? No, I'm not near it. It went red to green, over. You're going on. Oh my god, it just went like crazy for a minute, all different colors. Does that mean something, over? I am nowhere near it, over. Yeah, it's going crazy, over. Hello? Is there somebody in here? Oh, it stopped for a minute and then it started again, over. I'm trying to freak you. Maybe the main teacher's in there with you. Great, thanks for that, over. Mean teacher, are you here with me? Are you going to get mean with me? Hello, mean teacher, are you here? Were you really mean? Is the ramp pod still going off? Over. It is. Over. Yes? Yes, it's still going off. Are you still there, Doug? Over. Just checking to make sure you were still there. What was that? Over? Get almost halfway up the hallway on the right. And they're pretty heavy. And they're, I think they go back into the bathroom. Will you open? Both of those doors, and I think, and just look inside, see if anything's there, and then, like, then look into the other one. And one says something about a janitor's room or something. The ones with the X's on the door? Nope, not doing it. Over. Why not? Why don't you want to do that? So all you gotta do is look inside. I don't know if I can, over. There's nothing in there. We looked in them earlier. All right, here I go, over. Okay, I'm coming back, over. Uh, yes, over. Attractive. It thinks Todd's attractive. <laughs> Todd was on camera and it said attractive. Yeah, he said this place was even creepy when he was a kid, especially the basement. Yeah, well, you know what? The guy did tell me around like the four o'clock when he was the most uh, activity and it's 416. 416. So, AM. That's what he said, it's most active. Don't leave. Filming. Oh. It said filming. Yeah, we're filming. And you're the star. That was a big bang. That was a door. Is it that door? I don't know. They got me. 
that door? Was it? That wasn't open, was yeah. it? Was this door open before? I don't remember. I don't think it was open. It doesn't move very easy where it was at. You weren't the last one in? Are there any spirits with us now? Hello? I don't know. Do you believe we're real? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Show that us. is cool. Only yeah. if you can show me. Hold on. She asked a question and it Sorry. answered her. We'll be app answered. <laughs> she asked a question and it responded. And it answered. Oh, yeah. I said, are there any spirits here? Yeah. And it said, do you, and it replied, it said, do you believe we're real? My gosh. Do you believe we're Holy real? Crap. Yes, I do believe you're real. Do you mean us any harm? Ask it to give us a sign. You will hear children. <gasps> you will hear children. I just said, ask it to give us a sign. And it said, you'll hear. And we're right by where the girl oh. fell down. Let's, let's go down to the stairwell. <laughs> oh. Come on, let's go. Don't be afraid. <laughs> so this is the stairwell where the uh, little girl supposedly fell from all the way up there. And she fell all the way down here and uh, probably met her end here on the floor. So, you know, we just got a couple of intelligent responses. Uh, Pam said, Pam said, Pam said, are there any spirits here? And it replied, do you believe we are real? And I said, can you give us a sign? And it said, you will hear yeah. children from elementary school. I wonder what the girl's name was. That's, I was wondering the same thing because we just got Sarah on the Spirit Talker. That's the second time we've gotten Sarah, actually. Because we got Sarah a little bit. What Pam, Doug, and Drew didn't know at the time was that the name of the girl who supposedly fell down the steps and later passed away was Sarah. Not only did the Spirit Talker say Sarah at the bottom of the steps, but it said it once earlier in the night down the hall in the cafeteria. Was Sarah there that night trying to communicate with us? Okay, I just asked if the little girl was here, and it said, I'll get you. Okay, that's creepy. That's pretty creepy. So I asked if there were any spirits with us, and it said, do you believe we are real? And then... I said, can you give us a sign? And then it said, you'll hear children sure. laughing. And that's supposed to be one of the big yeah. things they So say. we thought, okay, we'll go down to the stairwell where the girl fell over, and we were like, you know, is anybody here? Um, and it said Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. And then investigator. Said Sarah. Investigator. What? And then R said Sarah. Who I'll said Sarah? You. And it said filming. Who R said Sarah? Oh, did it well? really? Yes. No, Where's it, it at? It was that one. It, it says Sarah twice. Yeah. Okay. When we were together. It's it. Yeah. It's oh. it twice so far. Oh, well, maybe I thought ours did too. Yeah. So then it said, Thank be cautious. Is this, that was that was this and is. sick yeah. and beard. Be cautious. It said sick and beard? Mm -hmm. Like, <gasps> seriously? Yeah. Like, it's starting to make me think now that after hearing really... that door. Are you feeling any better like now? Or? Yeah, Todd was going to be one of the challengers earlier, but he got hit, like, pretty quick as soon as we got here. And he was in bed for hours. Yeah. Yeah, he laid down and went to sleep, actually. I'm touching your hand. Oh, my God. Which Ooh. one of us? Whose hand are you touching? Man, that is crazy. That's freaking me out. You guys need to look in the mirror. Just do Bloody Mary real quick. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. How many times you gotta say it? Three. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. You know, the funny, the funny thing is, you just opened the portal, bro. Oh, I don't say that. You did. The, uh, let's see if there's another set of stairs. That, oh, right here. Ooh. Man, that guy there. Oh, my God. 
Yeah. yeah it would have been cool if the first response would just been... <laughs> It, instead, I had an instant baby heart attack. Yeah. It was like, uh, I'm not sure what that, what's that meter where you can see the, the sketch of the outline of the body? Well, you can see something clearly at the top of the steps. It was small. Yeah, it was small. And then you just see this black shadow come in and just... Yeah, through, you could see it and they slow mode it. Yeah. And the black shadow came from like a, the little yeah. figure, like a little girl. Like it was little compared to the other, th you know, the guy. And so it's dancing around and then this shadow, boom. And it, it almost looked like the shadow had legs. It did. It did. And that, hey, that, was, uh, that was a pretty convincing Oh man, that's a, that'd be terrible, man. Terrible. Poor little go. girl, man. That would be and so there's a lot of, you know, they're not really sure. Was she pushed? Was she thrown? Did she jump? Could fall? Fell, climbing on the stairs. Yeah. But it's weird how that shadow made it look like it was throwing. Ooh. I just got a chill up. just right here. Look at that ticket. Oh, was that going off too? Yeah, right here. The last time we were here, and we were like in this area right here by these three rooms. Mm -hmm. This room, we kept hearing noises from that room. Yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, and we even went in there and tried to get it. And a, we sat in there Yeah, for a long but time. we didn't get anything while we were in there. Nothing at all. What'd she say? Who are you? We keep getting... Whoa! Oh! What the fuck, guys? It, oh, the, uh, the door just closed. But it's oh open. My gosh. It's open. No, the second one. Okay, what was that? Because we both looked at each other. Like, do you hear that? And then it made a lot of noise. Okay. I don't see anything. Did you just slam the door? Oh, oh my God, bro. What the fuck? Dude, we didn't, nobody touched it, it just like shut. Dude, I felt like it was right behind my head. It said it's, Colin. It slammed really loud, too. I said like, you slammed the door and it said Colin. Okay, this is getting a little freaky. Just a little bit. That scared the holy shit out of me, bro. Sorry. That's weird. Okay, let's move on. A couple things starting to add up. Okay, we used to slam the door for us again. Can you move the door? Stop. What Stop. is going I'm on? Out. No, don't I'm leave. Out. Don't Stop. run. Don't run. Oh don't run. That was crazy. I'm done. Don't run. No there's one's... only one way in. No one's going in. Let's yet. go see if there's anybody in there. Come on. We'll go. No. We're not gonna cut away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you go in that door right there. Don't it all leave. leads around. So go in that door. Go in that door. Oh, by myself. It goes around. It comes in. Yeah. Go. Okay. I can tell you right now. I don't see anybody <clears throat> in any of these rooms. Oh shit. That's the door that slammed when we asked it to. There's nothing in here, bro. There's nobody in here. Nobody could have done that. What do you think about that? We, do you think it was just the door closing on its own? But how come we it? We asked it. Yeah, yeah that was, and that was too, it was that was, soft. It was. Yeah, that was had to be something. That was just too. There's no. Okay, <laughs> okay let's move on. Okay, calm down. I agree. It's time to calm down. We will move on, but it did say danger. So let's you know kind of make our yes. way out of here. Yep. What if she moved her eyes and looked at you? I'd probably run out of the room. That thing looks possessed, doesn't it? You know this too. Yeah, look at that thing. That is that's a possessed doll. It's Jesus. Cool. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why is this little guy in trouble? Do you, do you believe in Jesus? Oh, here's another creepy one. Yeah, some of these got like some really cool eyes. They almost like look real. I, think I affect the animals. 
I affect the animals? I affect the animals. How do you, how do you affect the animals? The animal there is a shapeshifter. <laughs> shapeshifter. Just in this room. So that's what it could do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing that. All the lights were going off. So got the rim pod going. Now every person that came up here, did you sit in that seat too? I did, yes. Every person that came up here, that thing would start going off. Me and Doug has been up here multiple times with it. And not once and has it gone off. Gone yeah. off for me or bear. So. And this is my second time in here tonight with Doug, and it's still not going off. Yeah. By myself, it went off. Also, some of the things that are supposed to happen in here, yeah, is you're supposed to feel like you might feel touched, like a slap on the wrist, even like the teacher's still doing her thing, like people's had their no. hands slapped in okay, here. Okay, when we were together, me and Drew and Pam, the children are playing. We it said. The children are playing, maybe that's why it's not super active right now. That's true, they're recess. Hey, can you, can you touch that rim pod? It's, it's actually going off. It's flashing a little. It's going off, bro. Can you touch that rim pod? With all your power. <gasps> that was on command, man. Wow. Have, has anybody asked it to do anything yet? No, no. And it's still going off. Can you... Can you stop now? Get out. Did it stop with the noise? It stopped when I asked it to. Yeah, but the light is still on, correct? Yeah, but it's not, it's not. Yeah, but it stopped the audible when you asked it to. Yeah. That was pretty wild. If, if this is the teacher that used to be in this room, can you touch that rim pod now? Concerned. Maybe she's concerned that I'm standing up. Not Are you a child? Touch the rim pod. Of oh, wow! Dude, every time you tell it to touch, every time you tell it to touch it, it yeah. Touches it. Can you stop now, please? Stop touching the rim pod. My freaking hair feels like it's growing on me right now. Bro, it stopped the noise again. It's when you said it again. I know. My hair feels like it's about to grow. It's growing. That was freaky. If there's anybody here with us, can you touch the rim pod and make a couple of the lights go off? Maybe a green one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Do you want us to leave this room? If you want us to leave this room, touch that REM pod right now. Do you care if we stay the night in the school? If you want us to leave the school, touch the REM pod. I did hear that. Something made a noise right behind me. It almost sounds like somebody sat in Can you light up all the lights for us? You got that much power? All right, fam, I don't know, haunted? Possibly, possibly, definitely had a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this haunted adventure. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like, hit that subscribe, join the family. Till next time, peace, love you.